We fooled by Serena and Venus. Those tournaments have hundred people at the beginning of the tournament. We watch the semifinals and see Venus and Serena and forget that, yo, it was like a hundred people when this tournament started and like 95 of them were white. Or a golf tournament, we see Tiger in the you know on the on the 18th, and it's like going against another golfer to win the tournament. We think, nah, mother, it was 400 golfers that started that tournament, and one was black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's kind of different, right? Like it's it's because because golfing is really not a sport. It's just not it's not the same, like you said in basketball. It is a sport because you you do you do have to walk. They don't let you use a cart. Like you have to walk. So it's like the fact that they don't let you use a cart in those tournaments, it does make it a sport because once you can't walk no more, you can't play. Yeah, I, I think we're basically agreeing. Like, yeah, basically whenever the sport has less to do with just like immediate intuition, it, it goes more to gliders because, you You're know, talking like about golf. running. You're talking about track. Man. Yeah, track and field. that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, where, where there's track, no ball. Yeah. When, when there's no yeah. ball to manipulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, Prefontaine, he was one of the greatest runners. Um, A lot of great white, Bruce Jenner, he was the that's the Catholic of all time. I mean, of, of this modern era. I think Gladys sell themselves short, man. I think Gladys sell themselves short just saying that sons dominate sports. Um, well, well if it, but if a glider yeah. overcome, like it overcomes, it, it won't be due to like their basic like fast twitch DNA muscle fiber. That's a sun thing, not a glider thing. They have to supplement it with, you know, other ways to to do well that's why like you said in track a sun wins track 100 percent of the time period listen man okay so you got the strong man competition right i used to watch these when they came on espn man um you yo listen man the strong man competition is a white guy thing man it's always yeah. a bunch of white guys, man. Um, this is a bit of an anomaly, though, because this this is like uh, uh, has like see, a, look, listen to how this. No, <laughs> who is this dude's name? New guy. Just listen to how he undermines <laughs> anything that the glider does. Like that. Like, do you not understand that if sons were good at this, they would never yeah. say, "Well, this is like an anomaly, and it's not really anything special, and it's kind of like pointless to even bring it up." Like you don't understand the difference in psychology at all between the two groups. Like you're constantly shitting on whites, and you don't even realize it in a well, way no, that I'm just well, it's like it justifies sons and all their beliefs about us. Like when you, if no. you were in a conversation with sons and you were talking all this stuff, they'd be like, "Yeah, y'all, y'all do suck. Y'all are some glider bitches." Well, okay, like it's, but it's fucking annoying. The other half, though, is he'd also call me racist when I point out that the QB is doing better because it's a. Well, IQ who cares? Who fucking cares? Ain't nobody gonna call you racist. But he, here's my thing. I think like if blacks could do see. If blacks could do these things, trust me, they would be out here doing these things. They're not better. These are the best. There's blacks that can do this stuff, right? But they're not the best at this stuff. White people, see, because I think this is all starts in the ankles, right? Our ankles are so skinny, man. I just don't think we have the base for these types of activities that we're watching on the screen. And I think white being stout, those stout, stubby ankles y'all have, I really think that it comes down to that, man. Um, and maybe it's more. Um, uh, maybe somebody in the comment section to help me out. Now, I, I say this though, I, with those sports that uh, that the gliders are best at, I used to always say this, even when I was like in high school, I was like, you know, super athletic, whatever it is. But mm -hmm. I felt like all like the the strength shit. Um, the wrestling, um, what else? I always oh, say wrestling, like, yeah. Yeah, I always yeah. say like that's for people that's not very athletic but good with like technique and shit. You know, you're not mm -hmm. very you're not athletic, 
you're not like a you know, freak, but you understand technique and you pay attention to detail. That's why they're better mm -hmm. at that. And and then they got the patience for it because those sports don't get no hoes. Like a lot of shit get us started because we want the bitches and we want the fame. You know, we want the attention. Mm -hmm. You ain't getting no hoes as a star wrestler in the hood. Nah, not at all. Not at all. Not at all, man. <laughs> not at all. But this 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 stuff right here, man, um, these sports that they do, like, yo, you telling me this don't take athleticism to stand on a log in the water? Yo, that, that yo, it's I'm practice, sorry, man. man. It's practice, man. It's practice. But ain't fucking doing a crossover practice. I mean, like, wait a second, man. It's all you think uh Alan Iverson didn't practice his no 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 check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. A crossover is practice, but the crossover means nothing if you can't explode out of it. Well, no, that's not true because if if you cross over, you, you you've already got an advantage. So even if yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah, a good yeah, but the reason that set the shit that sets us apart. Is that explosion out of that bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like mm. you can cross over, like, but it's like okay. Let's say glider crosses over, you go out of there. Some man can explode Look at into this, it, man. Get in front Come of you, on, dog. man. This is athleticism. <laughs> Come on, man. You're not telling me that. That's it's it's. It, I think I think what you're talking about is the fast twitch vibe. Yes, they don't have the fast twitch, but that just yeah. doesn't mean that they're not athletic. Just because they don't have the fast twitch. I'm not saying that they're not out in the lanes. Too. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. If Suns focused on this shit, we'll dominate this shit too. I don't think so. No way. I think no so. No fucking way. I think so. No fucking way. Hey, man. I think so. You see how the Dominicans are dominating fucking baseball right now? No, no, hold on. When you say dominate, are you well, hold on, wait a second, man. Um the, the Dominicans, yeah, yeah. The Dominicans are, are, are very good at baseball. I'll give you that. But you say dominate. Are you talking about like we would have one? It would be a couple black guys that were really good at this. Or are you saying like the whole like like the even the motherfuckers who ain't making to this shit would be black. The motherfuckers who lost on the, for the early Bruh, round. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. If 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 the black folks. It had never happened, but let's say if it did, if the most popular fucking the one that got the hose was the star hockey player at the inner city school, motherfuckers would practice hockey and then they had the free funding and shit like that. The hot NHL will be 35, 40 percent fucking black in 25 years versus the one, two percent it is right now. I, you know what? I don't know. I just, I just think that. Like you do what you good at. If you if, if Suns was good at this shit, they would be doing this shit. No, nah, they never think, played it, bro. They never no, played you it. Uh, Suns have done this shit. Suns have played this shit. They just but what they, type they just, of Suns though? I, what type? Are you of trying sons? to say if Barry Sanders and fucking Deion Sanders would have did this yep. instead of play football? Yep. Well, listen, man. I, it's just hard to admit that whites can do anything athletic. It's so programmed <laughs> no, in our no, no, society. No, no, it, I just think it is hard I though. It is very hard. Like any, this is why this is where you get the smart player versus the athletic player commentary yeah, yeah, in all yeah, the sports. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it, it, you, you just can't admit when a white person does anything that's athletic because it would look bad if whites are smart and athletic y'all gotta have something yeah. that you claim that no, no, is no. all yours to, but that's what it is like let's just cut one, through the horse shit hey, that's what thing, it is one thing for sure one thing for certain motherfucking sun people got that athletic shit see yeah. that's why that's the point i'm making is like it's not it's not about making sense it's about claiming dominance over something it's not you can't you can't let have any leeway in the other direction nah I'm not saying it like that. All I'm saying is this. If we fucking focus on something athletically, we can do it. I'm not saying if we focus. I'm not saying the fucking if we fucking try to fucking study hard to be the fucking best chemist in the fucking world, we will. All I'm saying is this. With, with athletics and that twitch and all that fucking shit that we are like that we actually have. We will dominate that shit. That shit right there. That's all I'm saying. 
Well, I, I it agree with actually, that. It's just the averages, dude. It's just the averages. There's, it, It's like the IQ average. It's the same thing. There's a bell curve for different things, and that means different groups can... I know, but know, the thing is, like, any time a glider for shows some athleticism, we have to come up with reasons why it's not actually what we're seeing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that. I understand it's like some fucking freaks of nature. Just like what Ox say, it's always the fucking anomalies. It's always the people that, you know what I'm saying, stand that stand out versus the curve. Like obviously the gliders have higher fucking IQs and fucking innovative and shit. But then we do have those some people that steps out. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just I can tell you a basketball player, man. Did you play football too? Or no, nah, nah. nah, I played football yeah. until like high school. You talk like a basketball player because yeah, I'm, I'm a basketball, basketball player. Basketball players, they, 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 it's a thing with like white boys. Like it's like it's a oh, dominant yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah for it's sure it is. But if when you go to other sports, man, that's not as prevalent um, as it, as it is in basketball. Yeah, basketball, I played football, and it was it wasn't really like that. But the basketball players were the biggest shit talkers, especially on like the race yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, we can't jump. Now, listen, I will say that, like, like. My arms, I have a seven foot wingspan and I'm six three. So it's like I've never seen a white boy, even like even like when we would be in camp and we would stand back to back and do like this, my arms would be longer than like the six eight, six nine white boys and shit, right? So yeah, I get it. Yes, definitely. I understand there's physical advantages and that helps you out. Having long arms helps you out playing basketball. I get that. But what I'm saying is other sports, other body parts and will help you out. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. What you're saying is correct, but I think uh, those other sports, you know, they're not the big three or the big four sports. Right. So kind of knowing, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't think yeah. that long arms will fucking help you dominate tennis? It doesn't help you in swimming, and it doesn't help you throwing a football. It actually hurts you throwing a football. Uh, um. All right, well, I'm good. I'm good on that. Oh, uh, y'all, I mean, I get it. I get it. I'm, I, I agree. Whatever. It's all good. It doesn't help you in swimming, though. No, long arms don't help. It doesn't help your, your golf swing. I don't think it will help your golf swing. Like, I think just having a long arm, you got to choke up on the, on the, on the, on the, um, on the stick, whatever the fuck they call it, the golf club. Or, or I think even in baseball, like pitching, um, I don't know if long arms give you. I don't know if it, if it give you more torque. I mean, one of the best. It's one of the best pitchers is what the lefty from uh, the Yankees, right? What's the white guy name? He was like what six fucking seven, six eight with long ass arms. You doing Randy? Yeah, no. Randy yeah, Randy Johnson. Yeah, he said it will increase the torque. Do you want to be tall for pitching for sure? Okay, but we're not talking about tall. We're talking about long arms, like. Black people have long arms. If you if you if you you'll start noticing now when you when you now that I said it, but black people have long arms. They just do. Like it doesn't. Well, I, you, don't I, think, you don't think that long cutting shit is technique? Yeah, but like like this right here. Do you want to be? Do you want it to come in style? Or do you want it to come all the way swing around? Like sometimes that that kid. See with basketball reaching and reaching and shit like that with a ball and shooting that that it helps you with that rebounding it helps you with that but when you like when you're swinging something sometimes you want to be concise you want to be you don't want to be like all out here with it you know what I'm saying I don't know I don't know I just I just think like certain like glider body but like gliders have um more upper body um strength than than the sons and sons have more lower body strength than gliders or is it the other way around i think one of the one of the two we've uh, we i think we i think we have i think we have more lower body strength and gliders have more upper body strength um i gotta look that up though um look that up um but yeah, it, we're different. Like like we all like we always talk about. There's different. Oh, we're definitely races. different genetically, bro. We're different genetically, and all I say is our genetics win this this fucking all the fight. time. You say our genetics win all the time, regardless of the sport. And what I'm saying I, is, I'm saying in I'm certain saying sports their genetics win, and in certain sports our genetics. No, win. no, I, that's look, what I'm saying. I will, I will, that's look, what I'm saying. That's what I'm I'll saying. I say I say our genetics will win in eighty percent of sports. 
Mm. And their genetics just, is more like, you know what I'm saying, given in those in the 20%. Like, yeah, in that 20%, this sport was built for your genetics. But 80% of the time, I feel that if we focused on that sport like we did our big three, we'd dominate. Mm. I would say it's it's more just on like, okay, does the particular position in the particular sport rely mostly on like quick fiber, fast explosive movements, or is it more geared towards technique and thinking patterns like shit like the QB? And then that will kind of, you know, break down. You'll see a trend. That's basically what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Some people are not made to play quarterback. Well, no. some of them are. It's just again, there's there's the bell curve, so it's all about proportionality. I, I think I think yes. Well, some people can play quarterback, but what what, he, what we're talking about is like from the pocket. Like some people wasn't made to play quarterback from the pocket. Largely <laughs> just, no. It's, it's what it but is, again, like there, there's there's always an anomaly, right? Yeah, I mean, if we put 100 sun quarterbacks <laughs> in the pocket and we put 100 glider quarterbacks in the pocket, high level, and we tell them to hit a fucking out route with pressure, I'm telling you, 90% mm. of the fucking gliders probably will be able to do it eventually. And probably what? 20% uh, of the suns will probably be able to do it. And then they'll still be fucking trying to scramble and we tell yeah. them don't scramble. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, it, something it, like that. <laughs> yeah, like it's it and, and 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 there's too many moving parts on the football field, um, you know, because you have to read all those moving parts. And there's I think so this is when, I think that's when that 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 twist that fast switch plays against us in the pocket. Yeah, because you instinctually gonna run, instinctually. Well, yeah, if you're good at it, you're going to try to use it. Why wouldn't you? And then, yeah, that can get you basically killed in the sport of football. Because <laughs> it don't like, work. I was, I was watching Steve McNair. I was watching an old um, Tennessee Titan football game. And if he was white, I don't think he makes it to the NFL, let alone be the MVP, was the MVP. I don't think he makes it because his whole game – is dropping back in single read passes. So, like, all the passes he completes, he knows who he's going to when they're break the huddle. Dude, that's literally why a black quarterbacks get an offensive coordinator fire every year and a half because <laughs> of that. Like, <laughs> bro, that's literally why. And Steven Nair got killed by his glider mistress. Because he can only make one read, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was a she was a she was a sand woman though. Whatever. He made one read and then that read ran out. He was like, Hey, you know, I know I just did all this shit for you. Put you in this fucking uh condo, this apartment, bought you this Range Rover, but yeah, my read is telling me to go back to my wife. Yeah, but but the problem with that is that okay. So you so 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 the, the offense they have to what do they say with a black quarterback they're gonna not dumb down the offense what do they call it they're gonna um, simplify simplify, it. simplify the offense yeah they got yeah, simplify, simplify the offense. offense right so 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 you basically instead of instead of coming to the line of scrimmage like um, Drew Brees or Peyton Manning where it's like if this is open if they, if they play this you throw to this guy if they play that you throw to that guy if this guy does if he if he goes underneath you go here. Well, the black quarterback is, look, throw the ball to the slot receiver on this play. And it's like, the, if you're a fucking wide receiver, you hate that shit. Because it's like, yo, you're not going to catch a lot of fucking passes with this guy. You're not going to make the Pro Bowl with a black quarterback. Um, You're not going to fucking be a superstar wide receiver because he already knows who he's throwing to on every play. So if the play's not called for you, you're not getting the ball unless he scrambles around and throws up some shit. Which those plays, even though they highlights, they're very few and far between, three or four times a game. 
But the problem with knowing who you're going to throw it to before the, the huddle breaks is that what if the defense shuts that guy down or doubles that guy? That is now why. you fuck. That's literally why <laughs> nobody wanted to sign Lamar Jackson in the offseason. <laughs> the man just won MVP, right? So, and not one team wanted to fucking sign trade for him in the offseason. Not one fucking team. Yeah. Because they did not want to change their entire offense and set themselves back 10 fucking years because of a fucking quarterback that can only make one fucking read and you got to change the entire offense for him. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, it, yeah, exactly, man. Um, Exactly. It's, it's 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 you. They you get you get you get people fired, and um, you get analysts called racist. It's 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 just like look at look look at look at look at look at this guy. Like if he was white, he could. He, I don't, there's no way he makes it to the NFL, but he's black, so he has that 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 like that um what do you call it that that ability to run. And he gets to make it. He gets to play with that. But like, like a white guy would get tackled right here, right? We we know that most most white guys, yeah, most white guys get tackled here. Um, most white guys get tackled. Here. Yeah, we'll we'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That sons like this, that shit right there. You know, that's definitely <laughs> yeah, yeah. But still, he's not playing the position better than a white guy. Like you, like well, you're you're trying to say is like. There we would be better. No, he's not better. He's compensating with his athleticism. Exactly. He's yeah, he's compensating. That's right. He's not better than Peyton Manning. He's not better than Drew Brees. God rest he's his soul, man. Look at him. Like, okay, as the QB, if you're running, that's already an indictment on your – you've already failed if you're running, period. Because QBs, that's just – you're not supposed to run. Right. Like that, he would have got sacked if he was white. Yes. And he would have got caught, too. <laughs> he got caught. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Listen, man. Any I, uh, I, any mass shoots tonight, or did we do good? Uh, uh, it, it's been, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, um, Let's see. Let's let's 